Picture a planet similar to Earth, but much bigger and heavier. We are aware that gravity becomes stronger as mass rises. This is why our solar system's giants, such as Jupiter, have extremely powerful gravity. Jupiter's gravity is around 81 feet per second squared, which is 2.4 times more than Earth's. Jupiter's gravity is so strong that it draws asteroids that could otherwise fall directly to Earth. Still, Jupiter is a gas giant, which implies it lacks a solid surface like Earth. It is basically a ball of gases and winds having a dense core deeper within. Now what if we happen to be on an Earth-like planet with extremely high gravity? For instance, it would be much larger than our planet. That is essential given that it will have an impact on its size and heat loss. As objects become larger, they lose heat more slowly. This indicates that the surface will be actually heated. Imagine a desert or savanna world. Overall, the terrain would be altered. There will be shorter mountains and smaller oceans, and the world will be relatively flat overall. The tremendous gravity would cause the insides to melt, resulting in a lot of geological activity and an even flatter surface. The air on this massive planet would be extremely thick due to a larger force drawing it down. Breathing would feel extremely tough. Furthermore, winds and waves could be fierce and forceful. Flying would be difficult on worlds with high gravity. If we park our spaceship there, it will be difficult to leave later. On the plus side, considering the air is dense, the sky will be stunningly colorful. The sunsets and sunrises would be stunning. Volcanoes would remain quiet till the pressure reached its highest levels. That means volcanic eruptions might have been uncommon but insane when they occurred. Of course, when living there, you might experience a heavy weight. It could seem like you were being squeezed down. So expect to jump high or perform fancy flips. In this world, your jumps would be almost nothing. We'd struggle just to breathe. So if we desired to live there, you'd have to modify all of our sports and games significantly. To make matters more clear, climbing one of those tiny mountains might seem like climbing an endless ladder. Buildings would need to be short and robust, like squat little towering structures. Tall constructions may easily fall under gravity's weight. On a planet like that, just a minor error can spell catastrophe. As a result, creatures living there would be primarily strong four-legged species that remained stable and close to the ground. So any critters that live here would have to be tough. When it involves wandering around, these creatures must pick between stability and energy conservation. Fewer legs would be ideal for conserving energy but they wouldn't be very stable. More legs produce the opposite impact. Such creatures would also need strong lungs to breathe, powerful hearts to pump blood against gravity, and extremely strong bones. Their veins could possibly feature muscles, similar to our arteries. With so much oxygen available due to the thick atmosphere, these creatures might grow to be extremely large. In other words, if we existed on a planet like that, we all would look like bodybuilders. This is what it might be like residing on a planet with strong gravity. What about the opposite, which is a planet with low gravity? Instead of feeling rooted and heavy, you would feel particularly lighter and lightweight. Consider how low gravity seems when you bounce on a trampoline. When you leap into the atmosphere, you'll experience a brief period of weightlessness until gravity drags you back down. Consider what would happen if the feeling of weightlessness continued. You'd feel extremely flexible. Every step would be similar to walking on the moon, where you could leap long distances with minimal effort. One of the most significant distinctions on such a planet would involve the climate and weather. Compared to the prior high-gravity planet, this lighter planet might end up with gentler and more stable temperatures than Earth. Imagine a world in which every day seems like a beautiful spring day. Seasons could continue to occur, but the extremes of grilling summers and cold winters would be far less severe. The scenery on a planet with minimal gravity would be absolutely breathtaking. Breathing would be easier. A thinner air would make it much less difficult to inhale. The winds would be considerably gentler than on our planet. Storms would still occur, though they would be nothing like those we experience on Earth. Life in a world with low gravity would be unique. Plants might grow thin and tall, reaching into the sky. 
Trees may grow to extraordinary heights. Animals would be tall and beautiful, with long legs and a slim body. Wings could be a common feature among them. If we were born on this planet, we would grow taller and more thin, with sensitive bones and thin muscles. As you could expect, this planet may be a haven for sports enthusiasts. Traditional sports like soccer, basketball, and volleyball have an opportunity to become extremely popular and enjoyable in this region. People will be able to jump really high, conduct backflips in the air, and perform a variety of other awesome actions. Activities like hiking and rock climbing will be easier. And all of the difficult everyday responsibilities that require lifting and carrying will appear effortless. We could build extraordinarily tall and exquisite skyscrapers that reach the skyline. Our cities would be filled with tall towers. Flying and taking off from the ground would be far simpler. On Earth, sending a spacecraft into orbit involves a massive volume of energy. However, in a low-gravity world, exiting the atmosphere would become considerably easier, allowing mankind to travel more and explore space at less expenditure. Flying would be quite effective, with planes flying through the thin atmosphere with ease. There may be some difficulties, such as frail bodies and health issues. In addition, due to weakness in muscles and other factors, we would most likely tire more quickly, and possibly the environment would be less diversified than it is on Earth. Nonetheless, it appears that life on a low-gravity world is way better than that on a high-gravity planet. In conclusion, existence on a high-gravity planet or a low-gravity planet would require considerable changes to human physiology, architecture, transportation, agriculture, as well as social systems. Now, are headed to the end of this video. What are your thoughts about this comparison? Which planet would you select if you had the opportunity to do so? The high-gravity planet of the low-gravity planet. Don't forget to comment your thoughts. Let's meet again with our next interesting video.